Hello and welcome to the video related to chapter 9 of the book Interaction Design Beyond Human-Computer Interaction, the 5th edition. This chapter has the name Data Analysis, Interpretation and Representation. In this video, we will talk a bit about uh, the highlights of quantitative and qualitative analysis, uh, analytical lenses and data presentation. Highlights of quantitative analysis. Most possibly you will have numerical data or your question will be related to numerical data. For example, how many times the word empathy exists in this text? Uh, the participants that you may have, it, it may be hundreds. And you should always report the amount of participants that you have. And what you will look for, most possibly, will be some kind of percentage, uh, minimum, maximum, average, mean, and you should have a basic knowledge of uh, statistics. For qualitative analysis, the data have dif different forms. So they can be textual, they can be audio, they can be visual. Uh, the data are richer and for practical reasons to analyze this rich data, you have less participants than in quantitative research. However, you still need to report how many participants are in your research. And to analyze the data, you can use two approaches. The first approach is to look at the data and based on what the data tell you to create clusters and small themes uh, based on data that they relate to each other. The second approach is to have predetermined categories before you collect the data and when you have the data you can categorize them into these categories. Quantitative and qualitative. Both methods can be combined. Both methods can be used. Both methods are equally valid and reliable. It is only the matter of what you are looking for and what is your question? What do you want to know? You shouldn't think that numbers are more objective than the language. I will give you some examples. Example 1. 100% of the participants in this course are Greek. As you can see, it's a big amount of students that are Greek, even though the course is given in Sweden. If we knew all the data here, you would see that this 100% is only two students. So by um, you can definitely manipulate the numerical data if you want to. Another example that quantitative data are not sufficient is when you give feedback. For example, here we see a question, the instructor talk this, taught this course well. There were some people that said no with a red, some people that they said okay, some people that they said very well. This, as an instructor, doesn't give me any value. I would need to know what I did wrong in order to fix it. So in that case, probably it would have been better to use qualitative research. Similarly, in the first example, if the students are are only two and we need to include them in some research, we need to justify why we will choose quantitative instead of qualitative since the sample is too small. Analytical lenses. The analytical lenses are the frameworks. There are different frameworks out there. For example, the discourse analysis, a framework. You see through your data, the power of relationships between the people, between your participants. While when you use content analysis, it is to figure out uh, how frequent, for example, a word is uh, referenced in a text. If you want to create a new theory, uh, most possibly you will use the grounded theory. In academia, it is important to specify which definition of ground theory one uses, as it can be a reason of rejecting or accepting uh, your research in particular publication forms. The most commonly part used from ground theory is the open coding, 
which is similar to thematic analysis. Data presentation. We can present the data in different forms, bar graphs, uh, pie charts, um, line graphs, and so on, based on what we want to show. Similarly, we can use different representations of the same data based on what we want to convey. For example, here is a map of the same place of Lindholmen at Gothenburg. One can see on the left that is the transportation map. So we care about the bus stops and not the details of the area. On the right, uh, on the top right, you can see more details about the shops that there are in the area than the transportation or any other details. So it is important to present the data based on what we want to show. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.